Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Shall we lift up our voice and let's give him all the praise. Let us celebrate him for his faithful. The unchangeable El Shaddai. The God who neither sleeps nor slumber. We have come to give you thanks. We have come to worship you. We have come to honor you. We have come to adore you. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou glorified, O mighty Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lord. We bless your holy name. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. We celebrate your faithfulness. Lord, we honor you for your grace at work in our lives. Thank you for this is that day you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We magnify your holy name, Jesus. Thank you for seeing us through. Thank you for this wonderful time we will spend in your presence. It's not by what we know how to do. It's all because of your grace. Thank you for loving us. Even when we remain faithless, you are still faithful to us. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name it is settled. Amen. Hallelujah. On behalf of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the owner of this church, you are welcome to Living Fountains Christian Center and a place where all shattered hopes have been restored, a place where the captives have been set free. I believe you are in for freedom. Your coming in contact with us is not by accident. Your coming in contact with us is all by His grace. And I believe that the Word of God will change your story. I believe that every word you hear this very hour will bring about a turnaround. God's name is to be glorified in your life. As we have gathered on this platform, May our gathering not be in vain. And may God put an end to every struggle in your life. In Jesus' mighty name it is settled. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll be going to God in prayers as we open our Bibles to the book of Isaiah 34 verse 16. And as we read the word, please make sure you open the Bible as well. And remember to call your brothers, your sisters, those that you know that they are supposed to be part of this video. Hallelujah. Those that you know that this word that is coming will bless them. It's a night of settlement. Tonight, your case will be settled. That case that looks as if it is impossible, the divine presence of God is here to settle it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can we read, please? <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, as we have come to take delivery of your word, every failure comes to an end in our lives and in our destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, turn it into a prayer point. Lord, as I have come to take delivery of your word, failure will no longer be part of me. Disappointment will no longer be part of me. Sorrow will no longer be part of me. All manner of affliction will no longer be part of me. Every evil that has been gathered from the pit of hell, they will not hold me down. I am unstoppable because as the word of God has declared that as I take delivery of the word, I am not a failure. As I take delivery of the word, I will stand strong. As I take delivery of the word, my life will be a life of testimony. As I take delivery of the word, things will turn better and things will get better in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Hallelujah. The word of God says, surely they will gather. He whoever gathers against you and I will scatter. We'll pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they have gathered against us tonight, anywhere they are planning to gather against us tonight, we scatter them by the blood of Jesus Christ. Begin to scatter the gathering of evil against you and I. I see a demonic gathering, but with this prayer, they will scatter. Because the word of God said their gathering is not of him. And because it's not of him, it will not stand. And because it's not of him, it will scatter. Begin to scatter every gathering. Every gathering in the realm of the spirit at this time of the night. Every gathering that has been gathered against you and I, let it scatter. They've gathered to afflict or to program evil. Today, let them scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere they've gathered and be taking advantage of you and I, 
Today, they will scatter the name of Jesus Christ. And we proceed to say no weapon that is formed or fashioned against us shall prosper. Any tongue shall rise up against us as we have gathered on this platform, we will condemn those tongues. Every negative word that has been spoken concerning your life, every negative word that has been spoken concerning your business, every negative word that has been spoken concerning your marriage, any negative word that has been spoken concerning your destiny, today it will not stand. We put an end to every negative word. We put an end to every negative word. Whatever has been said in the realm of the spirit, and it has been following you, and it has been oppressing you, today it will not stand. It will not stand. Because the word of God says, no weapon that is formed or fashioned against us shall prosper. Any tongue shall rise up. We condemn every evil tongue. We condemn every satanic projection. We condemn every demonic affliction. Whatever has been said, be it a curse that has been laid upon you. Jesus became a curse that we might be free from all manner of curses. Today, every curse that has been laid upon you and I break completely in the name of Jesus Christ. That curse upon your child breaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That curse upon your business breaks now in the name of Jesus Christ. That curse upon your going out and your coming in. Anytime you try to do something for yourself, you feel invisible resistance. You feel oppressed. You feel downcast. You feel depressed. Today, we break their hold in the name of Jesus. We break the hold of Satan and all his agents. We break the hold of all demons, all forces, all powers that are trying to bring about evil. We break their hold in the name of Jesus Christ. We break their hold in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree that the power of the Holy Ghost will turn things around. The power of the Holy Ghost will change and turn things around. Liko supra katarakati. Don't allow the devil to give you sleep at this time. If you sleep off at this time, you are sleeping out. Your destiny is sleeping away from your hands. Take charge. The word of God say, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies thy footstool. Today, let every enemy of your life be under your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy of your life be under your feet in the name of Jesus Christ. Take authority. As you take authority, that devil and his agents, they will clear off in the name of Jesus Christ. As you take authority, they will not stand against you. You are unbeatable. You are unstoppable. You have what it takes to make a U-turn. You have what it takes to stand strong. You have what it takes to rule in the midst of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. As I said to you, tonight is your night of settlement. Nothing will stop you from being settled. Not even the devil. Let me even say this. Not even your mind that has given up on God. As long as you are connected on this platform, the Spirit of God is taking over. And as the Spirit of God is taking over, you, the, what has crushed your spirit or what has crushed your life will be removed and you will be revived again. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Hallelujah. We'll be going into praise and worship. And as we come back, we'll hear the word. And as the Lord has given us utterances, thank you, Jesus. There is somebody, your business is under heavy attack. You really need to come closer to God because if you go to any other means, let me share with you what the Bible says in Psalm 16 verse 4. It said, their sorrow shall be multiplied. Those who run after other gods. Let me say this to you. There is no soothsayer or palm reader or any form of spiritism that can help your business than the power of the Holy Spirit. That power of the Holy Spirit is, is free. You will not pay anything. But if you go to all manner of platforms that does not produce, they cannot produce, they will only end up to do one thing and take more than 20 things out of your life. So please be very sensitive at this moment. You have been considering to go diabolical. You have been considering to do things that are not pleasing to God. You might end up losing your life. Not only concerning business, I see concerning other areas of your life. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that as you are hearing the voice of God, please don't give deaf ears to these instructions. Don't give deaf, deaf ears to what God is already doing because your life is in his hands. Your life is not in the hand of any man or tied to all those diabolical orders. Even though they've given you some kind of words that what is happening to you is about fetish or fetish kind of things. Don't allow those things 
to make you to go back because you are, you are being advised. But let me say this to you. There is no other advice that you can take than that which you see in the word of God. Hallelujah. And the word of God can never take you wrong. The word of God will lead you right in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God.
thank you. We are here because we have come to worship you. We have come to give you honor. We have come to give you all the adoration. Thank you, King of Kings, for your word that we are about to hear. Thank you for the worship. Thank you for the praise. Lord, we have lifted up our voices in thanksgiving. We have lifted up our voices in appreciation. Be thou magnified, O Lord. Be thou glorified, Almighty God. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lord. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. As the word of God is coming, I pray that your eye of understanding be enlightened so that you will know what is the will and the purpose of God concerning your life. Please pay very good attention. If you are feeling sleepy, you stand up and walk about. Hallelujah. Make sure you are connected because I know every connection with God's word disconnects you from failure. Every connection with God's word disconnects you from disaster. Every connection with God's word disconnects you from failure. So I believe that today, as you hear his word, things are getting better and things will get better and greater. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, glory to God. As I announced earlier on, it's our night of settlement. Sometimes when some certain things are not falling in place or not taking shape, you will begin to wonder why are things not taking shape or why are things not happening the way you desire it. Paraventure, you might have not gotten enough knowledge on how to deal with the situation. Or paraventure, you've gotten enough knowledge and you don't know how to wait on the Lord to make things happen. I've come to clear so many doubts in your spirit by the grace of God. One thing you need to understand, we serve a covenant-keeping God and not a destructive God. A God who loves, a God who shows his mercy. A God who is willing to go all out. That is why he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us. It's all about love. Glory to God. And until that love of God is established inside of you, you might not feel his power at work in you. Because the word of God says, God is love. Glory to God. I don't know who you are. You have been feeling unloved. You have been feeling as if nobody cares about you. You have been feeling as if everything is turning upside down. But I've come to let you know that the love of God has been released to envelop your heart. And that is what you need. When God's love is being shown towards you, whether any man loves you or not, you will not notice. Because his love covers all. Glory to God. He is love himself. That's what the word of God says. 
So the love of God is coming upon you right now. You might have been sorrowing. You might have been lamenting. You might have been in a distressed moment. But one thing I have come to let you know is that when you believe that the love of God covers all, everything that consigns you will begin to take shape in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody you are complaining that nobody is checking up on you. Nobody is calling you. Nobody is doing anything. Because let me say this to you. Sometimes you need that quiet time with God. Sometimes you, you need just you and God because there is too many noise out there. There is too many distractions out there. There is too many things that can keep you away from what God wants to do in your life. All you need to do is to put yourself together and begin to look up to God. Glory to God. If you look at the Psalms or the book of Psalms that uh, David was privileged to write, some of them he was all alone in the wilderness. Sometimes he's all alone in a battlefield. And all those Psalms came, uh, all of them, they come as an account of what was happening then. So sometimes you need this quiet time. Sometimes those distractions, you don't need them. Hallelujah. So stop thinking of who called you or who have not called you. Stop looking at your phone and say, oh, you've not received any missed call today or you've not received any call from someone. Just focus on what God is about to do and your life will be a life of testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So one thing you need to understand, for you to be settled until you do what God says to you, you might not be able to enter into that your settled place. Glory to God. Until you do what he says you should do, you cannot commit God to perform his word in your life. Your settlement starts with doing what he has asked you to do. If you look at Abraham, which is our key scripture for this very wonderful time, Abraham, in Genesis chapter 12, the word of God said that Abraham was in his father's house unsettled. Hallelujah. Because if he was settled, there is no way the Lord will tell him to get out of his father's house. But Abraham was unsettled. According to deeper search, Abraham's father was a voodoo doctor or a witch doctor or whatever. Uh, he's not, he was a pagan. Let me just use that word. Hallelujah. So Abraham was not fulfilling his God-given mandate. Or he was not fulfilling the destiny or the purpose in which he was created for. So if you look at Genesis chapter 12, you will see from verse 1 where God called him and tell him, come out, I want to take you to a place of settlement. Hallelujah. Look at what he says. We're going to read from verse 1 to 4. Now the Lord has said to Abraham, get out of your country from your family and from your father's house in land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. And make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Hallelujah. You see what it says? Abraham departed at the age of 75. You are not even up to 50, you're already worried. You are not even up to 40, you're already worried. Or maybe you are 40, or maybe you are 50, or maybe you are even 60, or maybe you are even 75. The reason why some settlement has not come very quick is because you have allowed your mind to be tied down to the forces or the patterns of your father's house. Sometimes this is not a physical movement you need to do because there are many people who have done physical movement. They've traveled so far from their father's house but they have not traveled far from what is plaguing them from their father's house. They might have traveled far to the ends of the earth, but they have not traveled far from what the evil pattern of their father's house is. So what God is saying in this particular verse is that until you do what he says, then you cannot break yourself out of that evil pattern. Until you do what he says, you cannot experience settlement. There are so many people, maritally, they are not settled. Financially, they are not settled. Physically, they are not settled. Legally, they are not settled. In the area of children, they are not settled. What I mean by legally, they are maybe an illegal immigrant in a nation that is not theirs. 
Or maybe there, there's even somebody that told me a story. A man that is from a particular nation, they refused to give him his, his documents. And he's from that nation just because he went away for so long. And he came back. They refused to give him his settlement in his nation where he was born. Glory to God. So there are some certain things that you cannot really place your hands to explain how some certain things are coming about. But today, God is bringing about a change of story in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One thing you need to understand, every change of story in the kingdom of God is tied to your encounter with the word of God. Abraham encountered the word and he moved into his divine place. He moved into a place of settlement. Hallelujah. Today, may you encounter a word that will take you to a place of settlement. May you encounter a word that will change your story. May you encounter a word that will bring about a fulfillment of God's promises. Hallelujah. Do you know that no matter the evil or the negative words that they have used to hold you down, the word of God supersedes all. Glory to God. When the word of God that is full of power, when the word of God that is full of light, when the word of God that is full of an unusual anointing, when you, uh, you, when you allow it to enter your spirit, then you have opened the door of prosperity. You have opened the door of relevance. You have opened the door of connecting directly with heaven. Hallelujah. Because it is the word that was spoken out of heaven that made man who he is. It is the word that is spoken out of heaven that established a man in a strange land. Hallelujah. It is the word of God that is spoken from heaven that establishes you in marriage, in business, in career, even concerning barrenness, the word of God breaks every demonic barrenness. The word of God breaks every demonic protocol. That evil pattern that has been following you like a shadow. That evil pattern that has been making a mockery of your life. That evil pattern that has been making you feel that God is far from you. Today it breaks in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been struggling all your life. It looks as if you are about to experience settlement. Some certain things will come up and you'll be wondering, I thought I've dealt with this. No. Today you are going to uproot the root of that thing. Because until you address the root, you will not be able to take the fruit. Until you take off the root, you will not be able to express lifting. Today your lifting is coming in the name of Jesus. Maritally you will be lifted. Financially you will be lifted. All manner of area that you have been struggling, today you will be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. Sickness you will no longer know your body. I decree that tumor lifting you right now in the name of Jesus. That confusion that is bringing about oppression and depression, it leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I cause that cancer from his root. I cause that affliction from his root. All manner of ailments, all manner of evil disease and sickness, I cause it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every time you wake up in the morning, you'll be feeling pain. If it's not on your knees, it's on your neck. If it's not on your ear, it's on your back. Face all over your body. I arrest that pain in the name of Jesus. And I decree that you are pain free. The blood of Jesus Christ sets you free from every pain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is not what you know that makes a difference or brings about a change of story. It's what you do with what you know. Knowing the thing without doing it is as equal as not knowing it. That I know how to go to a certain place and I didn't go there. I've not gotten there. I only just have the knowledge of going there or getting there. But until I make a move, that's why today you need to make a move with all that you have acquired from his word, with all you are going to receive this very moment. Make use of it. Until you make use of it, you will not make the devil useless. Hallelujah. Until you make use of the word of God, you will not make the devil useless. The devil is useful and carrying out all activities against you because you have not, you are not making use of the word. Hallelujah. So he's taking advantage of your ignorance and making good use of that ignorance of yours and he's using it to tie you down. Today I decree you are free. Every form of ignorance, I decree you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. A wise man said, if knowledge is expensive, then try ignorance. Because sometimes it's too difficult. Oh, it's too hard. How will I get this done? How will I get that done? How will this enter my head? How will this come my way? Hallelujah. One thing I want to let you know is that nothing of value is free. And value is a function of a cost. Anything of value will demand a cost. Hallelujah. Let me say this to you. Nobody likes to go to work 
Or let me put it this way. Most people don't like to go to work. But they need to go to work. Because they need to meet their needs. Or they need to pay their bills. Hallelujah. Nobody studies when they have no exam. When you have an exam now, you will, be, you will see yourself studying different books because you want, to, you want to pass the exam. But when there is no exam, to study is a challenge. That's why you need to be disciplined enough to make a change in that area of challenge. Until you make a change in the area of challenges, the chains of limitation will not drop off. A change is mandatory for you to experience lifting in that area of your life. Hallelujah. So always desire the word of God to enter you for you to move. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me say this to you. No prophet is responsible for the prophetic word that he has spoken to come to pass in your life. You are responsible to take that prophetic word to make it happen. That's why if you look at Luke chapter 1 verse 45. You see, I repeat, no prophet is responsible for the prophetic word to come to pass in our lives. You are solely responsible to make it come to pass. Hallelujah. Look at Luke 1 45. Look at what he says. Blessed is she who believes, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, she said that the angel visited Mary. And when she was, it was her responsibility to make that prophecy come to pass. Hallelujah. So every word you hear today, okay, look at 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18 to 19. So every word, every prophetic word, you are responsible to make it happen. It's just like somebody giving you a gift. That gift is no more in the hand of the person. It's now in your own hand. You are responsible for that gift. Whether you make use of it or you don't make use of it, it is in your own care. Hallelujah. That is how when the word of God enters your life, when the word of God enters your hand, you are responsible to make things out of that word of God. Glory to God. So look at what he says in First Timothy chapter 1 from verse 18 to 19. Hallelujah. When you reject the prophecy or when you don't do anything with the prophecy, God forbid you experience shipwreck. What it means is that the, the, the ship carry you to your destiny. If you don't take responsibility if you are not responsible enough or you don't take responsibility of what you have received, that ship will not arrive at its destination. That ship might, dis might be destroyed in the process of taking you to your destiny. Hallelujah. So the word of God you allow carries you to a place of relevance. The word of God you make use of carry you to a place of relevance. The word of God you agree with will bring about establishment. The word of God you agree with will bring about a turnaround. I see a supernatural turnaround coming your way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No matter what you are asked to do, it takes faith to make it happen. No matter what you are asked to do, it takes courage to make it happen. No matter what you are asked to do, it takes determination to make it happen. No matter what you have been asked to do, it takes the ability to receive the word, in the, the word which is implanted in you that is able to save you. Hallelujah. If you look at the book of James chapter 1, we're going to read from verse 19, 20. Glory to God. You see, one thing you need to understand about this word of God is that every day it comes out new. Hallelujah. Every day, the word of God you read yesterday, you might not understand how powerful it will be today. And you might not understand how greater it will be tomorrow. Because he say, 
the let me let me just paraphrase this this word it says in proverbs 4 18 it says that the path of the just is like a shining light that shineth every day unto a perfect day what it means is that every day you take in the word of god you keep discovering a better tomorrow you keep discovering a brighter tomorrow you keep discovering an a an unusual turnaround glory to god because you can't remain a baby every day of your life as the day goes by you keep growing hallelujah as the day goes by you keep getting closer to that place that god wants you to be that is why i know that in this divine night of settlement you are going to be settled in the name of jesus guys every unsettlement will receive settlement any area you have been struggling that struggle comes to an end today in the name of jesus christ look at that james chapter 1 we're in 19 and 20. Man is quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrong. For the wrong of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. Twenty. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness mm -hmm. and overflow of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your soul. Hallelujah. Receive with meekness, humility. Not arrogantly. Oh, I know the word. When you know the word, it, it will reflect in your life that you know the word. Oh, I know what the word says. When you know what the word says, then your word, your world would have changed. Hallelujah. We're talking about settlement here. And it starts with you believing the word. It starts with you doing what is expected of you. It starts with you upholding the word of God in high esteem more than any word. He said, an implanted word of God which is able to save your soul. Until the word of God enters you, your soul is still at risk. Hallelujah. Until the word of God enters you, your soul is still open to be attacked. Until the word of God enters you, your soul is still in a place that you are not sure of what will happen tomorrow. But when the word of God enters you, you are bold and confidently and wonderfully standing strong. Hallelujah. Glory to God. May God give you an understanding that will give you outstanding testimonies and that will change your story in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One thing you need to understand, anytime the word of God comes, it takes faith to take delivery. If you look at James chapter 2 from verse 17 to 18, you see, don't sit down waiting for things to happen. Take responsibility and begin to make things to happen. Glory to God. Don't sit down waiting for things to happen. Take responsibility and begin to make things to happen. And as you take responsibility and begin to make things to happen, you will see miracles coming with ease. Miracles coming cheap in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at what it says in the book of James 2, 17 to 18. God also speaks by itself. If it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Hallelujah. You see what it says? It takes faith to take delivery of every word of God that comes your way. And when you take delivery, you make use of it. That is where the works come in. That is where you begin to see things working out. So when you sit down waiting for things to happen, it will not happen. Take responsibility. If not, you might wait forever until you take responsibility and make a move. God will not move. Miracles comes as a result of death recovered or death discovered. Hallelujah. When the word of God enters you, it is a miracle for you to discover. In fact, the word of God is what helps you to discover to recover. I don't know what you have lost, but you recover all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Until you discover the death in the word of God. It is not by struggling. It is not by crying. Once you are able to locate the right word of God in your life, it will perform. Hallelujah. Once you are able to locate the word of God concerning that issue, you are going to, you are going to use the word of God to control that issue. That issue is too small to make you cry. 
That issue is too small to make you miss your destiny. That issue is too small to make you compromise your faith. Hallelujah. That's why when you use the word of God, you use it to confront that issue. Once you apply the word of God, God is committed and God is able to confirm it. Hallelujah. All you need to do, locate the right word that concerns that issue you are going through. You have not been settled maritally. Have you taken relevant scriptures about marriage? Or what makes a man to be uh, comfortably married? Or what makes a man to go into marriage and, is mar and, and stay married? Because many people don't know what it is to be married. Do you know why divorce rate is high in certain areas? Or in fact, all over the world, divorce rate is high. The reason why is that many people don't know what marriage is. And they have not learned what marriage is. Hallelujah. For example, the career you are doing is as a result you went to learn about it. Or whatever you are doing, you went to learn about it. And because you have learned about it, even though you face challenges, you don't leave it. You still do it. Why? Because you have learned about it. So when you know what it takes to be married or you know what it takes to get married, whenever there is a challenge that is rising up in your marriage, you still stay committed because you know what to do. Hallelujah. So it is with business, so it is with career, so it is with any nation where you are. Even when God told Abraham, get thee out of that nation, he, he didn't find it easy. But because he knew that the word of God has spoken, that is why he took delivery of the word. And that is why he became the father of many nations. Still date, we still sing Abraham's blessings am I. All because of the single obedience, he obeyed God. Glory to God. Today, may God do something unusual in your life. May God do something supernatural in your life. And may God do something wonderful in your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see, one thing you need to know is that you can't be saved until you are willing to repent. Glory to God. What I'm saying is that some people might say, but um, I'm not a born again. I don't think I need to be born again. But we're talking about to save your soul. We're talking about where eternity is waiting for everybody. Whether you like it or not, eternity is waiting for everybody. And you are not going to miss it. You and I will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is no provisions that you are looking for that is not in the scripture. There is nothing you are looking for that is not in the word of God. Until you meet the conditions that you have received from the scriptures, that is when you will meet God to perform. Hallelujah. Until you meet the conditions required from the scriptures, you cannot experience settlement in that area of your life. Look into your life. You might be sick. You might say this sickness refused to go. When you hold on to the right word, that sickness will get out of your body. That business refused to move. When you know what it takes to be a successful businessman or a successful businesswoman, the devil stopping businesses from prospering wherever you are. That devil will leave your business alone. Amen. When your marriage is going through turbulence and you, you feel like quitting, you feel like divorcing, you feel like leaving the marriage, it's because you have not had an encounter with the word that says that a man should cleave unto his wife and the wife should honor and the man should love. Hallelujah. When you don't know what marriage is all about, you will not be able to fight that demon that scatters marriages. You need to know what it takes to stand strong in marriage. Hallelujah. Financially, so many people are crying because they don't know how to apply the covenant principles. Your giving life is what establishes you financially. Because they give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shake it together. It says, so shall men give. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, as long as the earth remaineth, he says, seed time and harvest shall not cease. So you might have been saying, finances is not a... Have you been a faithful sower? Some people are faithful sowers, but they are not faithful receivers. 
Let me say this: when they sow faithfully and they wait for a time and they doesn't uh, and they don't, maybe the, the harvest is taking long, they will begin to speak against what they have sown, speaking in the sense that, oh, I gave nothing happened. You have already used your mouth to say nothing happened. Don't be the one that will stop the harvest from coming. Don't be the one that will stop your breakthrough from coming. So many people are lamenting as if the word of God is no more there. That's why the Bible says, for the people that do know their God. Hallelujah. He said, they shall be stronger. They shall do exploits. They shall mount up wings like that of an eagle. Hallelujah. Because you don't have the knowledge of God's word. That's why the knowledge of the word is ravaging you. That's why you are being oppressed because the knowledge of the world is about bad news. When you turn onto your your uh, your television set or we turn onto any device, you and you go on different platforms. Uh, it, maybe if there are ten news, nine will be bad news. Only one will be good news. So that kind of word that you keep hearing has the potentials to un bring more unrest. It has the potential to bring more unsettlement. It has the potential to make you to feel like running out of your life. It has the potential to make somebody feel as if they want to commit suicide. And that even reminds me when the woman of God was worshipping, I, I was hearing about suicidal thoughts. Somebody is having a suicidal thought. As you are hearing this word right now, may the Lord deliver you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That suicidal thoughts come to an end today. That is making you feel that you want to take your life. That is making you feel that you are hopeless, you are useless. It is the devil that is speaking into your mind. Let me say this to you. Many people who committed suicide and they managed to survive, they were sharing their experiences, saying that as soon as they, they commit or they did what was, uh, how they were being influenced by that spirit, the spirit leaves them immediately. He said the spirit will just leave them and go. Let me say this to you. The spirit of God is here to guide your heart. The spirit of God is here to guide your life. The spirit of God is here to guide your destiny. The spirit of God is here to take you. Hallelujah. And to take you to a place where you cannot be destroyed. Glory to God. That's why you need to be very sensitive. By allowing the word of God to build you up from the inside. The reason why nothing is working or nothing is changing or nothing is taking shape. Or you are not settled because you have not embraced the word of God. It's because you have not allowed the word of God to do what it knows how to do best. Because you have not allowed the word of God to tell you how to go about it. Hallelujah. You have been allowing things to... To be controlling you. You have been allowing your situation to be making you to make mistakes. You have been allowing your situation to be taking you to the wrong place with the wrong people at the wrong time. But today is time for you to give up all those things and begin to look up to God because your help cannot come from man. Man's help is limited, but God's help is over everything you can think of. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why one thing you need to know is to recharge your mind. How do you recharge your mind? Is by telling yourself the truth. The greatest deliverance any man can get is telling yourself the truth. Hallelujah. Until you tell yourself the truth, you are not free from satanic harassment. Because Jesus made a statement, say you shall know the truth. And the truth you know will set you free. So your freedom is tied to the truth of the word of God. Hallelujah. So one thing you need to know is that for you to experience a change of story or for you to be settled in life, have a right desire. Because some people have wrong desires. That wrong desire will be, um, I want this to happen so that I will show people. I will deal with people. Or I will make a mockery of people. No. God is not blessing you to make a mockery of people. He's blessing you to be a blessing. Didn't you hear what he said to Abraham? He said, in blessing, I will bless you. Glory to God. If you look at the book of Luke chapter 16, verse 16, he made something there. Until you have the right desire for a change of story. Until you have the right desire for a change of position. Until you have the right desire for your own settlement. Why do I need to get married? That's one thing you need to ask yourself. Let me say this to you. It is not about sex in marriage, and it is not about comp 
compatibility in marriage is all about the will of God in marriage. Glory to God. So, so many people have seen marriage as so many things. Oh, let me get married so that I will have somebody I can lean on. That is not bad. Let me get married so that I can see somebody when I'm in need. The person can give me the, that is not bad. But let the real thing, which is God created marriage because it is God institution. Glory to God. God created marriage for you to enjoy it in his own way, not in the worldly way. So the reason why so many people are breaking out of relationship is because they are carrying it out in the worldly way. And the reason why so many people want to go into marriage is because they want to go into it in the worldly way, not in the godly way or in the way God desired it to be. So there are so many questions you need to be asking yourself. You are saying, oh, I want to go into marriage because I'm feeling lonely. No, it's not about loneliness. It's about fulfilling God's promise or God's purposes in your life. Hallelujah. So look at uh, Luke 16, verse 16. Look at what it says. The law and the prophets were also judged. And the kingdom of God has been preached and everyone is pressing into it. You see what it says? Everyone desires the word. Do you know why? Because it has the potential to change your story. He said, he said, can you get me a different translation if you can? He said, the word of God is preached. Everybody, big, small, little, smallest, whatever, they are pressing into it. Why? Because of the potentials that it carries. Because of the great things that it carries. What translation is that? Okay. The Lord of Moses and the revelation of the prophets have prepared you for the arrival of the kingdom announced by John. Since that time, the wonderful news of God's kingdom is being preached, and people's hearts burn with extreme passion to receive it. Hallelujah. You see, people's heart is born with extreme passion to receive the word of God. Until you have that kind of passion, your desire is not right. Until you have that kind of passion, you will not be able to take delivery. If you look at Matthew 20 verse 29, we are going to see the people who had an encounter because they have a burning passion that they want a change of story. Hallelujah. It is their desire because they know that in this area they are not settled. They know that in this area their life is not reported. Hallelujah. It's Matthew 20 verse, from verse 29. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. You can see that they know that if they miss this opportunity, they will not recover their sight. Mm -hmm. Their own is that they have challenge with their sight. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. They have challenge with their eyes. Your own might not be your eyes. Your own might be, you know, in fact, what, the way I see it is that they have challenge with their vision. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Vision is God's plan for you. Is God's purpose for your life. So when you have this burning desire, you will know the right vision that God has for you. So they, they, they have been, okay, let me put it, let me break it down in the way you understand it. They say two blind men, physically they were blind, but they were seeking for, they heard. Even though they are blind, they heard. Glory to God. Even though you are blind to some certain things, when you hear the word of God, your spirit wakes up. Hallelujah. Jesus is the word. And he was passing. Just as you are hearing the word of God right now. Sleep is knocking your head on your pillow. The, the, that devil is telling you, you know what? Just lie down and sleep. You don't need this now. You can wake up in the morning and take it. And maybe there is an anointing that has been released at this very hour to change you. But the devil is telling you, just sleep. Later on, you can listen to it. But this anointing is now. Hallelujah. That is the multitude that you are hearing. That multitude is not just an ordinary people. That multitude is a 
so many thoughts coming into your mind. Should I just allow this video and sleep? Maybe when I wake up, I play it. You'll be surprised. You, you, you might sleep. And when you wake up, you see yourself running to the shops. You see yourself running to the uh, super. You see yourself running for activities. You see yourself running for Saturday spray. You see yourself running for one party. Oh, you remember somebody invited you for a party. Oh, let me go and get the best shoes that are used for the party. Or let me get the best clothes or dress that are used for the party. You see yourself running out. And before you know, you will not listen to the message. Hallelujah. So that multitude is not just people saying to them they should keep quiet. It is your heart that is attracting so many things, telling you don't bother yourself about the things of God. Don't even worry yourself about what God says concerning your life. Just, just do whatever, do what everybody is doing. Let me say this to you, that everybody is doing does not make it right. Hallelujah. All you need to do is to have the desire that your story must change now. If it is sickness, say, Lord, as your word is coming, my life will change. Lord, as your word is coming, I'll be settled maritally. I'll be settled financially. I'll be settled spiritually. I'll be settled physically. I'll be settled morally. I'll be settled in my character. There are so many people, their character has taken the right people away from their life. There are so many people, the kind of way they do things has disconnected them from their destiny helpers. And there are so many people, the way they approach God has made them to lose value spiritually. Hallelujah. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that that area of your life that you have been trusting and believing God, that you need settlement. May this word of God you are hearing now bring about settlement in the name of Jesus Christ. May he bring about divine settlement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me say this to you. When you keep building yourself up with the word of God, you will be surprised when the enemy will come up or come against you like a flood. The word of God inside of you will begin to fight them. The word of God inside of you will begin to de destroy and bring down and collapse every wall of limitation. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, any power that is stopping you from seeing clearly, any power that is stopping your God-given vision, any power that is stopping you from knowing the right steps to take, any power stopping you from knowing the right thing to do, any power stopping you from doing what God wants you to do, any power stopping you from not obeying God, any power stopping you from not studying the word of God. Any power stopping you from not doing the right thing. Today, that power is being destroyed in the name of Jesus. That power is being destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Doing things right without taking the right steps has no future. You might be doing things right, but if you don't take the right step, it has no future. Today, may God order your footsteps and give you the right steps. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you do things right and take the right steps and take the right turns. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever the enemy is using your foundation to do, today I collapse that foundation and I establish the foundation of the blood of Jesus Christ upon your life and your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's begin to appreciate God for his word. Let's begin to thank him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. For his word is to be praised. The unchangeable El Shaddai, we adore you. We thank you, King of Kings. We honor you, for you have never failed and you will not fail. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word that has been released. That your word will help us to focus on you. Your word will help us to see where you are taking us to. Your word will help us to do the things that is expected of us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus, that I'm not just the hearer, but let me be the doer of your word. I will not just observe your word without being a partaker of that word. Repeat after me, Father, I surrender my heart to you. And as I surrender my heart to you, let your word enter my heart. And let me see the things that you will do with my life. In the name of Jesus, turn it into a prayer point, Father, King of glory. As your word enters my heart, let me begin to observe what you will do with my life. Lord, as your word enters my heart, let me begin to observe what you will do with my life. Lord, King of glory, let your word enter my heart until the word of God enters your heart. So many things around you will not change. Until the word of God enters your heart, so many things around you will not move. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a drastic movement. Let there be a supernatural turn around. Let there be an unusual move that will move you and I to the next level. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Blessed be your devil, God. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. 
I don't know who you are. So I will just pray. Let the word of God enter your heart. I see a heart of stone melting. And I see a heart of stone taken away. And I see it replaced with a heart of flesh. And there's somebody else. This is very funny. I saw something like a rusted wood. The wood has been rotten. I see it pierced into your heart. As I was just praying that prayer, I saw that wood pierced into your heart. And I heard that there are rotten things inside of you, like an idol that has caused you from not moving forward in life. And I see the hand of God pulling it out. And when it was being pulled out, it, is, it shows that it has been rotten for so long. Wood. I see it like a wood. And I heard that these are idols that have been entertained for so many years. But today you are free in the name of Jesus. Christ. Today you are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And this is a res as a result of unforgiveness. This is as a result of harboring pains, harboring defeat, harboring things in your heart. Today you are delivered in the name of Jesus. Today you are delivered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Today the hand of God has been released and the hand of God has been released to set you free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody the Lord is touching that child right now. That child that is giving you trouble. The Lord is touching that child right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That situation that looks as if it's going to swallow you up. Today, the Lord is touching it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody, you keep having this negative dream. You keep seeing yourself in a coffin. You keep seeing coffin all over you. Today, that death, that angel of demonic death that has been released, be swallowed up in the name of Jesus. Let that death that has been released, that angel of death that has been released, let it be swallowed up in the name of Jesus Christ. A decree full fruit fruitful and fulfillment of God's word coming into your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every oppression in your life is over. Every delay concerning your life, marriage, career, business is over in the name of Jesus Christ. That delay is over. That delay is over by the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, God. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Hallelujah. For you to be in the camp of God, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, all you need to do is to repeat these prayers after me. Or if you have given your life to Jesus and along the line you made mistakes and the devil is telling you it's not possible for God to forgive you. That is the lie of the devil. God is always in the business of forgiving his children. And I believe God is going to forgive you and God is going to do something great and awesome in your life. In Jesus mighty name it is settled. All you need to do is to repeat these prayers after me and your name will be written in the book of life. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Just say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I believe that you came. You were crucified. You shed your blood on the cross of Calvary to wash away my sins and sorrow. I believe you died. You were buried and you rose on the third day. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Congratulations. If you have said that prayer, you are now a born again child of God. Hallelujah. Your life is no more the life you used to know. Your life is in Christ. And that grace of God that has sustained you till today, and you have given your life to Jesus Christ, that same grace will move you to another level. In the name of Jesus Christ, all you need to do is to prayerfully search for a Bible believing church near where you are. Or you can join us on this platform, or you locate us on the address that is being scrolling under your screen. And I know Jesus will be Lord, and Jesus will be glorified at all times in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. The Lord keep you, and the Lord bless you, and the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. We'll be taking our offerings, tithes, and kingdom investments as you take on all the available channels that is displayed on your screen as you honor the lord with your offerings your tithe your kingdom investments your seeds or your sacrificial offering all you need to do honor the lord and the lord will be glorified in your life in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah glory to god Jesus, I pour my love on you. Oh, yes. Jesus, I pour my love on you. Jesus, I pour my love on you. 
Thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Thank you for this wonderful time that we have spent in your presence. We celebrate your faithfulness. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou glorified, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. By the grace of God, take the following announcements as we share our announcements. Every week, by the grace of God, we meet at Living Fountains Christian Center every Tuesday from 10 a.m. For those who want to meet one-on-one -on -one with a pastor, 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., the service starts to 1 p.m. every Tuesday. And every Wednesday, we meet by 7.30 p.m. My needs are met service. Hallelujah. Every Wednesday by 7.30 on this platform, on, on online. Hallelujah. And every third Friday, just as we have just met today, is our monthly night video. We'll meet on this platform by 11 p.m. to some minutes past midnight. Hallelujah. And every Sunday, oh, sorry, every last Saturday of every month, we meet in church. Hallelujah. Just the address scrolling on your screen. We meet every last Saturday of every month for anointing service. All you need to do is to come with a bottle of olive oil, and prayers will be offered on it. Hallelujah. And every Sunday we do have two awesome services. The first service is 9 a.m. And the second service is 11.30 a.m. Hallelujah. I believe the name of the Lord will be glorified as you honor God with your presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so excited for what God is showing me concerning you now. He's showing me that your life will no longer be a mockery. Hallelujah. I don't know when we were, when we started, I kept on hearing about marriage, glory to God, which means there are a lot of people who are not settled maritally. This message is for you. You can go back again because there might be some things you've missed and you take it 
all in, hallelujah, and know what it takes to get married and to stay married. Getting married and staying married are two different things. There are people who got married, they are not in marriage anymore. But I believe God is going to give you the grace and the ability. And there are people who started business, they are no more in business. And there are people who have started a career and they are no more in their career. Hallelujah. There's somebody, anytime you get a job, minimum or maximum three months, they will, they will tell you that they are not interested in you. In fact, you don't even pass the probation period that they've set for you. But I pray that that, that curse over your career is broken. That curse over your life is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is this strong man that comes to oppress a particular person watching me right now. This strong man has been coming at a certain time. Anytime something good is about to happen, maybe in a day or in two days time, you will, re you will receive some kind of demonic presence, some kind of oppression. Today, I decree that demonic presence is no more. They cannot stop you anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's somebody, a friend is about to deceive you into what you are still having double mind. I don't know who you are. You've been having double mind concerning what they told. As long as you have double mind, please don't go. Don't, don't go ahead with it. That double mind is a sign that you should not make that move because you might not come back. Hallelujah. Or coming back, you might come back shattered, destroyed. But please, I beg you, anytime you're having double mind concerning anything, don't push yourself. Don't push it. Hallelujah. And I pray God will give you the grace to stand strong and to stay true and committed to him, to the almighty God in Jesus' mighty name. Let's, let's appreciate God one more time. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou glorified, almighty Father. Thank you for all the word that we have given us. We say that we command today to be a blessing to us. We decree that this weekend will be a greater one for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see God taking away every obstacle that has stopped you from getting to the next level. And don't forget this Sunday, because of the area where the church is, they are having London Marathon. And we will be starting service by 2.30 in the afternoon. We will only have one service just for this Sunday, for this 21st, hallelujah, of April 2024. Just for this Sunday, 2.30 p.m. And the, uh, the service will re resume as normal. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you. May every word you have heard produce. May no word fail. And may every word bring about testimonies, miracles, signs, and wonders. In Jesus' mighty name it is settled. Hallelujah. May we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. See you tomorrow by 2.30. 2.30, because today is already Saturday. Hallelujah. See you. God bless you. Bye.